69 was a strange year. The year Uncle Sam got his ass kicked. The young told the old, fuck off. The year when people looked at the earth from a new perspective. The year I found out what it means to be a grown-up. I was eight then. My mom worked during the day and studied at night. She was determined to give us a better future. I learned how to take care of myself because I didn't want to be a burden to her. We didn't know much about each other then. She didn't say much and I didn't ask. But it all changed that summer of 69. Mom found out she didn't have much time left. That's when she told me we'd have to find a new home. She didn't mention it was only for me. Wait for me in the car. Gonna be long, Mom? Depends how long it takes to convince Mr. Hutt to pay me. I don't like him. Nobody does. Can I come with you? No, baby. Gotta do this alone. Louise? Good to see you, honey bunch. Got your days mixed up? It's my shift today. Hey. Boss around? In a can. With a girly mag? It'll be a while, sweetie. Oh, I'm out of time. You know, he can't mess with Hut when he's reading. Bet you can give it a shot. I can see, hear, and smell. Wyatt and Billy, the bikers. When not hogging the road, they sit here, bending the elbow and hitting on waitresses. I wanted to be like them. Hi, Louise. Did I hear it right you're quitting? Yeah. What's next? I gotta take care of my business. Sounds serious. Because of Hut? More serious. I gotta find a home for my son. Yeah, that's heavy. Good luck, Lou. Thanks. Boring. I barely remember Hut, Mom's boss, but I can still see his red car. Hello, Mitch. I won't be going fishing with you anymore, sir. So I've heard. Take care of your mother. She'll need it. Why? She looks like she's having great fun. Take my word for it. 
Oh, almost forgot. Got something for you. Iwo Jima? <laughs> Old times. I hope it comes in handy on your trip. It's so cool. Thanks. Go find your mother. What the hell are you still doing here? You don't work here no more. I came for my money. What fucking money? You're the one who quit. You owe me for the last two weeks. I owe you? Okay, let's talk. Come into my office. Welcome to Hut's Kingdom, sweetheart. Ah, here we are. What were we talking about? Right, about you owing me a hundred and fifty bucks, sweetheart. I owe you nothing. That's how much your quitting cost me. None of my business. I want my eighty-five bucks. That's the spirit, honey. I have no time. I need this money. What if I chip in an extra 65 to go with your 85? Would you find the time? All I want is what you owe me. What a pity. Your lack of ambition won't get you very far. You won't even hear my offer? The dough, Mr. Hutt. How about 200? No thanks. Just pay for my work. You're making me mad, honey. I know your type. Playing hard to get, but really, you put out for anyone, anywhere. Right then, I only wanted my mom to get out of there. Then you're birthing those little bastards nobody wants. Your choice, but you still owe me $150. Are you done? Then please give me my pay. <sighs> Last chance. Two hundred and fifty dollars. I've got a better idea. Ah, you bitch! Mom! So, how did it go? What you doing, Lee? Cashing in my overtime. Mr. Hub will kill me for that. I need this dough. Here's a ten spot to chill you out. You fucking bitch! I'll fuck you up! What the fuck? Get the fuck out of my joint! Hey, Wyatt. Is it just me, or is Fatso asking for it? Nah, Billy. It's not just you. Keep on trucking, Louise. Thanks. Mitch! Mom! Is it true what Mr. Hutt said? That nobody wants me? Is that why we're leaving? What? No, sweetheart. Hutt is a bad man and he's talking nonsense. 
but his karma just caught up with him. What's karma? I'll tell you later. Where'd you get this lighter? It's Iwo Jima. Got it from Alvin. Can I borrow it for a sec? Wait for me in the car, okay? Mitch, I promise you, this will be the best month ever.